So here we go. That's Let's talk some real estate. After all, that's why we come to you every Wednesday at 12 noon is to bring to you. And this is hot off the press today. We come to you to bring you the most up-to-date, relevant real estate information you're going to find anywhere on the planet. You're going to get it right here. Here's what we're talking about. We get this question, and we've not got it in a long time. Because prices of homes, if you ain't been paying attention, have literally went like a rocket ship straight up. To the moon. To the moon, yeah. To the moon. You know what I'm saying? Prices have went up. Now, there have been a lot of things, a lot of factors that have played into that. Low, historically low, low, low interest rates played a big role in that, okay? True. COVID played a big role in COVID's that. made prices COVID go. made it go, and we thought it was going to go the other way. It went to the moon, yeah. okay? COVID played a big role in that. The, just the inventory being historically, historically low, just as the rates were, played a big role you in know, that. You we, know, we've, we've been saying, I, I know we've been saying that inventory has been low sure. for years. Mm -hmm. Years. And it's true. It's very true. It's hit rock bottom. Sure. <laughs> is what, and again, no doubt. Which is what really drove this no price doubt. up. We've been saying for years and years and years, inventory's low, inventory's low. That's true. And then all of a sudden, it was like there's no inventory. Sure. So what's there is just name your price. Well, here's what here's like, what we got to say. What's her name? From okay. Geico. Here's what we saw. Stuff. We saw a report, okay, about a month ago now. It was released to us. It was released publicly. It wasn't a private report. But we saw this report where Morristown, Tennessee, okay, Morristown, yeah. was the fifth Morris. highest, okay, property and price increase in the country okay and the report said that over the last year and a half i think it was a year and a half prices had rose 57 percent in morristown tennessee okay yeah 57 percent high okay That's crazy now what we are seeing we're seeing what you would call what i have called for months now and been saying, y'all pay attention to this. I hope every realtor in the town is paying attention to this. Every realtor in the country pays attention to this. Plus, consumers. Mm -hmm. We're moving to what I've called normal. In a normal yeah. real estate market where there's normalcy of buyers and sellers and pricing and increases and all that good stuff, that's what's literally happening, okay? That's what's literally happening. So, when we see that, we're starting to see a little bit of a cooling as far as pricing goes in the real estate market. Now, the same things that caused it to go through the roof are the same things that's causing us to cool. Interest rates have went up, okay? Inventory is ticking up ever so slowly, right. but it is ticking up, okay? But instead of seeing 57% price increases, we are still seeing price increases, but they're just not 57%. I said all that to say this, that all put together, okay, is causing maybe some people that are out there that are putting their home on the market and now they're doing comparables. They're looking to price their house against the house that went up 57% last year. Right. When that's not where we are right now. True. Okay. We're not there right now. So you may have listed your property, or you may be getting ready to list your property. You're comparing it with the wrong stuff. You're getting the wrong data, and you put your house on the market, and you're thinking, where is everybody at? So let me ask you a question. Where is everybody at? Let me at? ask you a question. Go with it. One, Grandma Rose got a question, but two, I got a question. So would you say, because her question is, my house doubled in price. Should I sell it now? Good time. It's a good, good time. time. It's, it's a good time. time. You better have a plan. In place. But you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. You got to have a plan, okay? What we're seeing again, Grandma Rose and everybody else, prices went way up, okay? They're cooling somewhat. So that was my question. So are you saying we've peaked and we've started down? I'm not saying there's any down to it. It's just here now. I'm just saying we we it's got to here look, and we're here. We got to look at some data to be able to get that because it's so market specific. In right. some areas, yes. You might have to go back because last year we jumped to 57%. Right. That was astronomical out of the world. True. Okay? True. So that, you can't even really look at that. That was like almost a fake world we was living in, some people. <laughs> well, 57% yeah. in one year is insane. Yeah. Now, you might have to come down from that 57%, but they still might be at 25, 30%. Right. It just ain't 50. That's right. what I'm trying to get out of here. Right. Okay? 
So prices are still increasing because demand is still driving it. Do you think though that you're seeing a little bit of what we're talking we talk about price reductions because that's what everybody's heard. Everybody's heard this. I'm gonna put my house on the market. Sure. And I'm gonna have in the first three days, I'm gonna have 31 offers sure. for a hundred thousand dollars sure. over asking price. And they're not seeing that right That's now. exactly right. And I think a lot of that has to do with interest rates. There's no doubt. All of that is playing into Every, it. That, everything's playing into each other. Yes. So here's where we're going at today, okay? Because pricing for pros, okay? We help people price all the time. Sure. We're professionals at this, yes. okay? But even sometimes pros get it wrong. Yeah. Not that we know everything because we've told you guys for Listen. 224 shows now, we do not know it all. Listen. Listen, Pricing I, I want people to hear this. It's what I want people to hear. I tried to tell a guy this the other day. Get it, man. I like this, this right here. This, this just gets me. Okay, everybody's saying, everybody's saying, we're going to see a crash. We're going to see a big crash. I don't know, and neither does anybody else in the that world. That is the true No, because hear me say. out. When did COVID come? 2019? Right. It was all crashing then. 20. 20. It was crashing. If you listen to the experts, then when that the happened. housing market, because it was hot. I'm with you. It was hot. COVID hit. It was going to crash. It's all over. Everybody was blowing it up. They keep blowing it up. Sure. People saying it's going to crash. Eventually, somebody's going to get it right. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But don't listen to people well, that just are outside making noise, trying to stir up a steam. Sure. That, they don't know. Eventually, somebody's going to get it right. If I keep saying every day, how's the market crashing? Sure. How's the market crashing next month? It's crashing next it's month. Going to Eventually, one day, sure. it might crash. Sure. Right now, the numbers are not showing that not we're right in now. a crash. Not right now. It could change tomorrow. Sure. But right now, it's not showing that the real estate market is crashing. No. Economy? Who knows? I the ain't. real estate market is not showing that we're, we're crashing. We're stepping outside our bounds when we start trying to talk about all Well, I'm stuff. just saying, you know, that, saying that, that burns me because well, people I always say, well, they, 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 people on TV saying it's crashing. Mad. They're saying it's crashing. They said yeah. it was going to crash in COVID, sure. too. I'm with you on that. Here's what we're cutting through, though. What we want to do with you guys today is cut through the fat of all this stuff. Kind of get through the noise and answer the question if you've got your house out there. And maybe you did take that and you, you said, I'm going to go with these 57% increase prices. I'm going to price mine here. You might get it right. You might not. But what we have saw recently in our market, this is cutting through the fat and giving you the facts, okay? About, about, somewhere around, okay? One in five that have put their homes on the market lately are doing a price reduction. Yeah. Okay. That's not happened in a long time. That's not happening in a long time. That just means maybe they got a little too high. Now, there's two Everybody's things sell houses. For the moon right now. Price and marketing. Okay. Marketing's never been easier. Price is the main player. Main player in a row. So the question we're going to answer for you today is, is when... I put my house in the market. We want to get you as much as you want. You want to get as much. Everybody wants to get as much, okay? Pricing the house right, though, is what's going to get you the money. True. Okay? When is the right time to lower the price, okay? We're going to speak specific to the Lakeway area and give you some comments on that, and then we're going to be done. Here's what we say. I, I'm going to get myself out of in, in this market. The average time on the market right now is 18 to 20 days. 18 to 20 That's days. fast. That's okay? Quick. That's fast. That means contracts are happening in the first three days. Mm -hmm. So when, guys, do I need to lower the price of my house? Because you're going to know y'all right out of the gate. Oh, okay. there's, here's the good news. This is why I tell Grandma Rose, yeah, it's a good time to sell. Because there's still more buyers in the market than there are sellers, meaning it's a seller's market still yet. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, buyers have slowed because of interest rates. That's a fact. Okay? True. But there's still more buyers than there are sellers. True. That makes it a good time to sell. But you say, okay, I put my house out there. I'm trying to get this price for it. I ain't got anything going on. If you ain't got nothing going on in about three to five days, you better do something. With well, the you price. need to start really putting some thought. You got to look at it and say, what's going you on? Might have hit a little too strong on the price. That's that's probably what happened. Because again, like you just said, there's still more people looking than people that's trying to sell. And so, if you ain't got about three to five, 
Time change lures. And what we're seeing is if you do price it right to begin with, and when I say price it right, I mean what the market says the house is worth. Yeah. Not me, not you, but the market. Look at data. Work with a pro. Look at the data and listen to them. Look at it and listen to it, okay? Price it objectively. Now, if you do that, there are still, we just had it this weekend, okay? We priced one. We looked at it. We put the right price on it. We said, look, could you get more? Absolutely. You probably could. Right. Okay. But the market says it's where we need to be. We're seeing people that do that right now and look at the data, price it right. They're getting multiple showings, multiple offers, and guess what's happening to the price? It's going up. It's going up. Meaning people are now going over your asking price because you did the asking price versus the people who already go up here and say, yeah, I just need one person to get it. Those people are coming looking at it and goes, man, that, that's too much. Listen, yeah. It's too much. And they're seeing, I've got no competition, okay? I've got nobody competing for it. So there must be either one, something wrong with it, or two, it's too high. So I'll put in an offer, but guess where the offer is at? Back right. down here. Yeah. We just had it's this, back down here. I can't remember who I had this with. But I had this conversation. This is strategic, man. This is. I had this conversation with somebody here in the office just the other day, and we was talking about pricing. And so they were trying to figure out how to price the house. I was trying to help them with it. But it's one of those things. I said, this is just, this is going to take a while to get this out of people's mind. And I don't know if it's a good thing to even get it out of people's mind. But everybody just knows. I've had so many people say that, when they look at houses now, they understand that this is now, this is what I'll take. This, this is what I'm asking. And they fully expect that they're going to get over asking price. Sure. Sellers are expecting to get over asking price. Buyers are expecting to get the house. They're going to have sure. to put in over asking price. So if you try to price it to the max. Sure. People think, well, there's no sense in me even offering on this one. I can't. Because, well, I can't, but I know it's going to sell for over this, and I really don't even know if it's worth this. Sure. They're not even going to throw out that lower no, offer not thinking, do. we're back in the day. People would no. say, I mean, I'll offer them 10000 less. We'll negotiate from there. They might take it. People's already got a mental block right now thinking, I'm, not, I'm wasting time I'm with even you. offering 10000 less because somebody's going to come offer 10000 more. I'm with you on this. So you're better off to hit the price perfect. Sure. And if you get it perfect, you're going to go over. There's a good chance. There's a good There's chance. There's a really good chance. And what we'll tell you on this, wrapping it up, so when's the right time to lower the price? Because that's the question we had today. If you ain't gotten it in three to five days, you need to be working with a pro and getting it done right. Okay, so you got you got three to There's five days things. right now. There's two things that need to happen because you just said price and marketing. Marketing is really easy. Should be easy. Sure. Okay? But I'm just saying there's still to this day, you can look on any Zillow, Realtor.com. You can still look and see houses that are priced for $750,000, $350,000 that have one or two pictures of the outside of their house, one them. or two pictures of the inside of their house, sure. and then their house has been in the market for 30 days and they don't sure. know why it hasn't sold. Right. So if you don't know, because surprisingly a lot of people don't know, sellers, they don't even know what a realtor is doing to advertise I'm their on, house. I'm on it. Tell them, let me see my pictures. Yeah. Would you buy your house looking at the pictures? Sure. You know what your house looks like better than anybody because you live in it. Right. Does the pictures represent your house? Sure. That's a good point. If that don't, because we just take it for granted that everybody knows how to market a house. Sure. Some people really don't. Well, no, it's true. So after a week, if you don't have no offer, you need to call your realtor and say, hey, show me the, what you're doing here yes. to, to, to sell my house. If the marketing looks fine to you, right. if they got good pictures, they're putting it out everywhere, then okay, self. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to Something's talk about up. lowering this price. Something's because up. Because we've missed it here. There's no doubt. There is no doubt. And so the, the debate then comes in, what do you do about price cuts? Well, that's a conversation that's going to be individually has to happen because we can't give you a blanket answer for that. Right. How much? We can just tell you if you ain't got something in a week, three to five days, you, there's something ain't right. right. And you yeah, need to look at that, those two areas. There's too many statistics to back that up. Look at those two areas. And I don't care where that. you live at in the world. No. This, this applies worldwide. That's exactly right.